Welcome back to Lloyd and JD's Two Minute Topics. I'm Lloyd. I'm JD. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're talking about space sounds. Yeah. Uh, space noises. So NASA released the uh, documents and the audio. It was released audio. a while ago. Yeah, it? It, was, it was a while ago, but yeah. I mean, it's just sort I of coming found it tonight. Recently. Well, it's just coming to... It, there's a lot of news on it now because basically... NASA transcribes their entire space yeah. voyage. But so they have two have two two signals that they transfer on. Because uh, uh, there's one you can tune into live on the internet when they do space stuff. Right. Now, but they, we're talking about Apollo. There was no internet during the Apollo space flight. No, but they still had two feeds. They still have a live feed that you can tune on the radio. They still have they always had ways that you could hear the astronauts up in space. Not when they did Apollo. They did. No. I'm telling you. No. No, apparently they didn't. No. Him, but they they have two they have two. <laughs> they, they they had they had radio signal going down. Um, they had a conversation between Apollo and M- Mission Control. But you can hear them switch between signals when they're on there because he's like switched to the private signal. You can hear switched. that on. Yeah, you can hear that on the thing. There's two signals there. There's open communications and then there's communication. If you're talking about current stuff, yes. If you're talking about Apollo, no, it's no. on that video. You guys can watch it. It's on the Facebook, yeah. but it's on the video. What to switch to private? Yeah, no, I did not see that. Okay, I, I read, I read the transcripts. Oh, and I also watched the videos, the well, actual I, the videos. No, anyways, this is gonna be a two minute <laughs> argument about fucking. But <laughs> but basically, they went to the dark side, and then they started complaining about hearing a whistling noise. Yeah, and you know they compared it to space music. Yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So basically, when they yeah. dipped down to the other side, they had a conversation because what happens um, during the Apollo flight is that. The radio signals, when they go to the dark side of the moon, they weren't able to transmit back. No. So basically... It just what loads would, data and then they pick it up. Yeah. So what happens is it would basically record all the stuff and then when we, they would hit the bright side of the moon, it would download, mass dump it to basically NASA and NASA would transcribe it and listen to yeah. it and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of this stuff got archived and it's kind of like, you know, finding the needle in the haystack. That's why this didn't come forward. In that conversation, these guys, there's, there was three of them yeah, up there. I see. This is why it's a silly two-minute topic because I call bullshit on most of that. What? The fact that it's a needle on a haystack. Most of this stuff, it, they all watch it. It gets watched as soon as it comes in. We know it's not normal. We don't look into it. It just gets put into a file because they don't give a fuck. No, no. But what I'm saying, it's a needle in a haystack for anybody to find. Yeah, because unless, they make it that way. Well, number one, these guys discussed openly discussed in their discussion whether or not they were going to even tell Mission Control when they hit the the light side of the moon. Yeah. Right. They so also discussed. They didn't about want seeing... number one. They didn't want to get grounded as astronauts. Number two, they. Uh, you know, basically, they didn't want to have, you know, kind of, you know, that discussion that, you know, that they're crazy and all that kind of stuff. So they decided as a group while they were on the dark side of the moon that they were not going to inform mission control, knowing that there was going to be a data dump on the other side. So, you know, that's that's essentially what yeah. happened there. Right. So basically, they transcribe it, all that kind of stuff. And NASA is known for you know, basically vetting information, Being which cunt. they don't feel oh, it's in the public interest, right? So but that's they, what appa- happened. What they feel is in the public interest, to me, is yeah. in everyone's bloody interest, apparently. Yeah. So the noise itself, does it sound like music? And eh, not really. No, it's it doesn't, more, not at all. It's know, like a humming Yeah, annoying. it sounds like radio interference. It could be magnetic interference. Who knows? Because they didn't identify it on the way there. So, I mean, it's difficult to ascertain exactly what it we'll is. We'll have to do an episode, though. I don't think you got the other moon one that I sent you. Oh, we'll okay. have to do another episode yeah. on that. But anyway, that was two minutes. I'm Lloyd. That was four minutes. I'm Lloyd. I'm JD. Peace. See ya.